Hello folks. So this is a big change for me. Um, ever since I've been doing astrophotography, I've had my laptop outside. But I, I never liked that arrangement because you never know overnight, is it still going to be there in the morning? I always worried about that. Sometimes my remote desktop connection is kind of slow and I hate seeing pixelated graphics come across when I'm inside the house. And uh, a, a third reason is um, uh, sometimes my laptop shuts down, it, it overheats. And if it ever shuts down, I have to go outside. I mean, there's just so many pluses to having my laptop inside the house. And this 20M, uh, 20 meter USB cable, I think this is going to do the trick for me to allow me to have everything running outside and have this one line coming into my house so I can control everything from my laptop inside. So we shall see. I'm going to try and hook it up now. Okay, I am in my garage right now and I'm looking at the USB hub on my ASI camera and on the back of that camera I've got my guide scope and my filter wheel plugged into that hub and here is a powered hub right here uh, sorry about the cable mess here but I've got my my mount plugged into it there my moonlight focuser my camera and my pole master now um, and then I've got the, the powered hub plugged into my 20M USB cable and I'm not even plugging in the power on this USB cable it seems to work without it right now and then I've got the 20M USB cable plugged into my laptop, which will, you know, eventually uh, go in the house, which is the point of this. So right now I'm just gonna see if I can connect to all my devices. I'll be back. Hey, I am back and I decided not even to use my laptop anymore. My desktop computer is faster. It's got a nicer screen. So I'm just gonna use this from now on. I plug my 20 meter USB line right into the back of my desktop and everything seems to connect um, but because I'm using my my desktop I did have to rebuild my whole Astro setup install all the drivers for the, the focuser, the telescope, the cameras I had to reinstall PHD2, SG Pro and you know go through all the settings manually make sure everything was all set but I got through it and if I con connect to all my devices here, they all seem to connect. There's my ASI camera connects, my filter wheel, the Moonlight Focuser, and the Celestron mount. It, it worked. Can you believe it? Go figure. And let me show you. And, and PHD2, it, it connected my guide camera. And my guiding don't even pay attention to that 2.04 that's because it's been nothing but clouds that's the way this it's been going for the past few months for me now if <laughs> if you'd seen if you remember last year one clear sky after another it was amazing and now i can't even buy a clear sky i think i only completed one deep sky object last month the crescent nebula and this month is off to a bad start too so um, I set up because it was clear, then the clouds moved in, and so I, I think I'm going to have to to roll my stuff back inside the garage. It ain't, it ain't going to happen. But let me show you some open projects I have. I'm nowhere near finished, but let me show you. This is what I have for the elephant trunk so far. Almost five hours of data. Um... Uh, a lot of that was captured through hazy skies, but the stars, nice and round. So I'm liking that, even though I was pointing at some point even below 20 degrees in the north, and my stars are looking good. So I think that threaded adapter I showed a couple of videos back is doing the job. I mean, I, that's really good for pointing that low. I don't see any sign of sag at all there even though I'm pointing that low, which is usually where I might see the sag. Um, I've started the Dumbbell Nebula. This is about 39 minutes of HA on the Dumbbell. Uh, this is almost 45 minutes on the Omega Nebula. 
and a little over four hours on the Pelican Nebula. So those are my four open projects that none of them are near completion. So I know I'll finish them at some point, but I have no idea when. Okay, that's all I got, folks. See you later.